Hello everyone, I'm recording my fourth pass of Unigen Valley on what is my final undervolt overclock. Uh, looks like, finally, it's really really nice to win the silicon lottery, but I've gotten a cherry of an RX Vegas 64. It will do, as you can see, uh, 1650 plus or minus 10 megahertz for uh, the built-in AMD algorithm that cools the card down or gives it a little more power when it can handle load. So it'll bounce between 1640 and 1660. It'll do it at 1.068 to 1.087 volts. The maximum fan speed on the cooling fan, uh, it's still at the default, which peaks out at 1500. That's not super fast, it's to keep it quiet. And I have noticed when I set my temperature target just, you know, like two degrees Celsius higher and give the fan maybe an extra 250 RPM, it will, it'll boost way higher than 1650. It'll start going into like the 1680s, almost 1700 on air, but I don't have the voltage curve on this setup for a 1700 max overclock. So the cooling voltage uh, the fan curve and the voltage work together to determine, along with temperature, to determine the maximum boost. As you can see right now, I'm hitting 70C, and it's still at like 1650. The fan's at right around 1500, and I'm at 1 1.8 volts. So, very pleased with the undervolt overclock on this Vega card. Um, I've had it for maybe a week now. The thermal compound appears to have burned in. The air cooler on this card is outstanding. It's very similar to my R9 Fury, uh, which was also by Sapphire, and that had a great cooler on it and undervolted like a champ. So, very pleased with these results. It doesn't get loud. It doesn't get hot. The voltage doesn't go crazy. The speed doesn't go crazy, and this gives me really, really good performance on an air cooler. You know, I am officially a fan of Sapphire products. The uh, voltage regular on, on this too, by the way, it's a rock solid VRM and it has quieted down after a week of use. Uh, I cannot even hear it or the fans while I'm recording this. So very pleased with the results. Uh, as you guys can see from the data in the top left corner, it hovers right around 1640, 1650. It's under a little bit of a CPU load because I'm recording right now. Normally that hits 95 to 99%, but still, there it is, 99%, 69C, 1655, 1657. So good job, Sapphire. And uh, yeah, this is a cherry of a card. Um, I'm absolutely loving that I got a good one. So hope you guys enjoyed this demo video and uh, cannot recommend undervolt overclocking on Vega and Fury cards alike. They really, really do work well with it. See you guys in the next one.